right look at how f terrifying this is envelopes one and two this is all from my stalker I have to wash it off. I have to shower. Okay, this is a, this is not a joke. This is just what it looks like until you wash it off. I'll look normal in like 20 minutes. Today is Tuesday, and Felix has been sick since Thursday, so I'm putting him on bed rest today. He does not have permission to do anything other than get better because it was annoying on Thursday when he was sick because he had already been sick for like two days. So he just has to get better. I'm gonna take a shower and then start my day. I can't take, I can't go on the internet looking like this. Oh my God. Hi, Chunky, good morning. Good morning, Monkey. Good morning, Monkey. <laughs> empty here which is just how I like it come on little baby yeah. it's a disgusting day out today what is that I feel like this morning has been taking forever, but there's one more thing that I have to do before I can go to my office. I have to demange my dogs. Pomeranians are super labor intensive. I don't think I had a full concept of how much like work it is every day when I got them. I don't think I would have thought differently, but I will say it is wildly inconvenient how much care these dogs need. Like I think I haven't brushed them for like a week and that's like bad. So I have to spend 15 minutes now and take care of them. I'm gonna watch some YouTube and brush them out. Yeet, you first. Wait a sec. Here we go, wait a sec. Yeah. I knew you knew what I thought. Did you leave or not? You said that you meant to, but you forgot, and I never saw it come. It should have been so easy, but I feel incomplete thinking about you. Yeah. And I would just let you be, but I consistently think about you. Think about you. I know you're keeping secrets, hoping that I will see this, but for whatever reason, I think. So 
small guy we gotta go here we go we're going we're going yeah. well there we go we're back where we started yesterday <laughs> um so now i'm in the office and i need to pull myself together and launch into the week i wish i had like more to do i wish there was like a ton of shit going on because right now my day feels empty because i'm like well i want to vlog and i want to do something in my vlog but really like the stuff i have to do involves me sitting at a table so let's just get that out of the way and then see how i feel later <laughs> So here's a stupid ass story time. Um, I'm cleaning out my drawers right now. I have like one kind of inbox where I put all my loose papers until it piles up and then I like need to deal with it. So like it's at the point now where I need to deal with it. But one paperwork that I just found that I've never really found a home for might be kind of interesting. I thought I would share. Everyone on YouTube has a stalker, right? Like that's just like a precursor. Like if you have a YouTube channel, you definitely have like a my stalker. And most of them are fake or like made up. Like I do not believe that someone is like eavesdropping on Tana Mojo's phone calls. Maybe, but I doubt it. But I actually have a stalker or had a stalker. I had a stalker encounter and this envelope is like all of the stalker stuff. I can't show the front of it because this has my address on it. But um, basically, around two years ago at Christmas, I got a scary book. And it was like the first Christmas gift that arrived for me. It was like early December and this envelope showed up. And I was so excited that someone had sent me something that I saved it all the way until Christmas Day. And so then a month later, I opened it. It was an envelope similar to this one, but maybe bigger. I opened it and inside was like a thin book and a seven page letter. And it was completely anonymous. I shredded the whole book and I shredded the whole letter. I didn't keep it. And then a couple like months later, they sent me this and it mentioned me by name. It mentioned my boyfriend by name. This is from May 10th, 2020. This is not a joke. And this is all in completely different fonts. And it says, dear Kayla, how are you? Do you remember me? Smiley face. Someone is watching over you in these special times and days, exclamation point. Jesus is his name. By his Holy Spirit, he instructed me to write you once again so that your heart may be prepared for the coming crises. 
heart emoji. In this letter, you can find more important hints which can help you find the truth for our times and what is really going on in this world. Dear Kayla, whatever will soon happen, please do not be afraid. So then it says that Jesus has instructed me to write you more about Nashville, Tennessee and what will happen there very soon. And then it's like basically saying that Nashville is going to burn down and be struck by a meteorite. Um, it's long and it's dense and it's not the only one. So there's more to it here, though I forget what's in this one. Right, look at how fucking terrifying this is. Envelopes one and two. This is all from my stalker. This will be the great test which will come upon every human on earth. This is the reason why it is so important for you and Felix. How is Felix? Question mark. Both of you have to make a final decision for God's law and his commandments or for human laws. They will die when the world will come to an end. This is the reason that it is so important to you what has been written in both letters. And then it talks about the false coming, something that Satan is coming, and it says, Kayla, time is very short. I cannot convince you because it is not my job. And then blah, blah, blah. It says, much love to Felix. And then it gives an email address where I can contact them and find out more. I wanna see what was in the second letter. I haven't looked at this in so long. Fucking A. Okay, this one is from December 16th, 2019. So this is the first one. And this addresses me with my first name, middle name, which I don't use publicly. I don't, even if I do like official documents, I do not use my first name, middle name. So you have to think, how did someone get my first name and my middle name? Oh. <laughs> Again, like six, seven, eight pages here of just this crazy shit and kind of vague threats. The Father will allow Satan to reach the depths of deception against mankind. So you get it. But how scary is that, right? In the end, I did write the email address and I told them that I didn't want them to contact me anymore. I didn't want anything to do with this and it was really scaring me the way that they were contacting me and I didn't know who it was and I didn't like it. And they respected me and they stopped because it is someone who I actually know and they um, want the best for me. They genuinely believe these things and they want the best for me. But that is... In the short version, my stalker story. When this was going on, I was terrified. I wish I could tell you the rest, but I cannot. I like in an open forum, th this story is tea, this is juicy, but it cannot ever exist in an open forum. I had so many theories at the time before the second letter came and before I started sleuthing to figure out who it was, um, I thought that maybe it was like someone was pranking me or someone was like, had like signed me up for it because they just wanted to like pull one over on me or they wanted to like annoy me. I don't know. I thought it was like someone who was like kind of against me or something, but actually <laughs> this is a very loving stalker who just wanted to protect me from Satan. But obviously that is still floating around. I don't know where to put it. Cause like, I don't want to see this ever again. I, I don't want this. Like I, I rebuke this energy. I do not claim this. Like I do not want any part of this. As for religious acceptance, I do believe that people are totally entitled to believe every single thing they want. Completely open for all religions and all practice. I especially believe in like spiritualism or like some kind of grounding moralistic guidance where you like choose to be good based on your religion but the second that your religion impacts someone who's not in that religion then we have a problem that's just how i feel let's go fave do you remember felix <gasps> the fave what are you doing do you in the mood for lunch you want to eat a little lunch time Okay, so I'm gonna done in eine Stunde. Ah.
Also, I've always wanted to say this. I thought I would want to put this in a TikTok, but I don't really make TikToks, which is a different problem. But there is a different reality where Brad and Lucinda win Love Island. If Brad and Lucinda would not have gotten kicked out randomly in that random act of violence in like, you know, the first week they met each other, if they wouldn't have gotten kicked out, I'm telling you, they would have beaten Millie and Liam for Love Island. They would have won. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, bye. Hi. Okay, guys, change of plans. My friend Bianca is going to come over right now because I have been waiting for like months to show her how I use notion and then after that i'm gonna run to the store pick up chicken nuggets and then i'm gonna show you the fucking best food in the world this is like the only food that i'm eating right now i'm addicted to it i can't get enough and i can't stop so first we're gonna see bianca and then we're gonna make this fucking awesome food okay guys this is bianca hello Bianca is the only friend, wait a sec, we have to put this down. Okay, so this is Bianca. Bianca has to go again, but Bianca is the only friend who I ever told about my vlogs. And last year in December, she was the eighth person who I let know that I was making YouTubes and she is one of the only people who knows about my videos. Yeah. And for that, I love her. all thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Bianca's going now, and now I have to go make food. I told Felix, I told Felix, I said, this is for nine hours to be there. And then... And when was that? Three hours later. chicken nuggets with blue cheese sauce. Okay, first bite and then I'm hanging up. I cannot help it, this is just my favorite thing to eat right now. Mmm, it's spicy today, but my only regret is not making more nuggets. Oh my God. Okay guys, have a good night. It was fun with you. I'll see you again tomorrow in the next one. Thanks for watching.